hiya welcome to my channel I'm Dilly and today I've decided I'm going to make a cafe curtain so it's not a full height um, neck curtain if you like out of ribbons unfortunately like many of us I live in a fairly built up area and um, That means that when I dance around naked in my bedroom, the neighbours get an eyeful. So rather than have them complain <laughs> and have me arrested for doing something I like to do in my own bedroom, don't you know, I thought I'd make myself like a little curtain. Um, obviously I could draw the curtains or the blinds or whatever, but... I don't want to be in darkness all the time and I can't stand neck curtains it's just a thing with me when I had to have uh, so-called nets I invariably have the cafe curtain one so that I put them on a rod mm. like this so it's kind of sprung loaded it's um sprung loaded so it kind of you buy them to more or less fit the window and they got some rubbery ends and then yeah wedge them in I think they twist a little bit in order to lengthen or shorten them so I would rather have one of those and have um, nets or whatever on what I would really love to have is shutters but they're prohibitively expensive and seeing as I always have lots of craft things around and I have plenty of ribbons and so on um, I thought I would make a net curtain out of ribbons I've also used uh, like muslin in the past so very sheer so it's not kind of like nylon nets but it's more gives me more um, privacy now because my window is a one it has one opening to the left and I didn't want to have the curtain going all the way across the window because I 90% of the time winter and summer I have the window open and um, to have the whole thing joined up meant that they would get all the ribbons would get all tangled up with one another anyway I did a small section with the ribbons that I had in the colour scheme that I'm going to have in my bedroom I'm doing my bedroom a little bit country a little bit bling so there'll be a little bit crystal around occasionally um, so I did this and basically I, they're all cut to the length they're all see that and that's what I'm talking about they get all, knot, all knotted up in the wind and so on get blown about I did it for the opening side of the window so it's just stitched along the top with a hoop, with a hoop that goes over the rod in the different colours and I've got these ones cut and ready to be stitched in one long line to go on for the long long piece but what I found was when I put this up yes it blew about a lot and the ends not only got sort of caught on one another even when I put the, some of the crystals on I'm having crisp, some uh, occasional bits of crystal um, obelisk and round and I have got some heart shaped ones as well don't know whether I use the heart shaped ones I stole them from my husband's supplies because <laughs> he sells things like that on eBay um I said oh please may I have some yeah yeah help yourself so I did um obviously I've marked them off the, the amount the amount that he's got left to sell because otherwise that would disrupt all the um stock and everything but yes so I've got just I've just got one or two So there's sort of quite a few that I've got. 
I guess that's not as much round as teardrop shape. Mm, don't know. Once it's on the curtain, it looks round. These are the hearts. Oop. And as I say, I've got half a dozen obelisks. Um, yeah. So I think it's rather a lot. But hey, just as well he loves me, isn't it? Uh, God knows why he does, but there you go. Um, so because these were all getting tangled up even with the um a few crystals that i put on the bottom what i've decided to do is join the bottom with a continuous piece of ribbon i.e where i've done the top with a loop like that so that they're all stitched i will put all the ones in on the bottom let's just undo this bit of ribbon so i can show you This ribbon, which I've got three rolls of, and the reason I've got so much is because I'm going to be doing other things with ribbon on in the room. So what I'm hoping to do, because it won't be easy, so I probably would have to do it off camera because I probably will be swearing a lot. Um, I will attach this ribbon to the bottoms like that so that they're all stitched and this is one long continuous piece so then instead of them floating like this when the wind blows individually they will then float more as a curtain and then because this has got more substance to it i can attach the crystals easier because when i try to attach them to the bottoms of the ribbon that happened it frayed threefold reason really why i'm putting this on the bottom one so they don't get all tangled up with one another two so that it kind of gives a bit more privacy because when the ribbons are all blowing like this and being parted by the wind you just never know what the neighbors are going to catch me doing so if they're kept more rigid they'll show less of my altogether um so that will be along the bottom and the third reason is I can put the crystals on easier and they sh and it shouldn't fray. So as I say I've done this one top I'm going to do the long one and I'm actually going to add some more ribbons to it because I don't think I've got quite enough. I'm not happy with I want them to be um, close together. So I've got more of these on the roll and this i mean i know this is very uh see-through but then mind you so are most neck curtains but i double this up in its place oh i just dropped that on the floor that's great so i double it up on the on the curtain pole so then it's not quite as see-through and got odd bits which i may use don't know whether that's the right color for my room so i probably won't got long pieces of lace mm. and i am denied about using this as the bottom bit of the ribbon i still might because i think it's it's the length of the window and because i'm doing a little bit country and a little bit bling haven't decided because it's actually come from something that is square as you can see it's got um like corners on it it's beautiful lace it's cotton um i might actually put it on my headboard instead because what i'm trying to do in my bedroom is make pretty much everything the bed linen and and i've done a arm knit merino wool blanket i'm not going to show as i add the bits like the blind and so on what i want to do is a reveal so i will put all the different bits that i make up on videos and then when i've eventually finished that room i will do a big reveal 
I have got more lace here all different bits but I don't think there you will be long enough or suitable or indeed the right colour because there's all different colours in there as you see so I collect all four I'd like to um, actually start putting them in nicer containers because this is forever ago this container I don't know whether you remember having that kind of ice cream it was a long time ago and then my ribbon stash which is in a <laughs> celebration I've got all sorts in there but they're bits and bobs again I've got pink in there but it's more of a salmon pink I don't think it's the right pink that will go in my bedroom my bedroom is more going along the lines of uh, blush pink dusty pink that's what I would say dusty pink rather than baby pink or um, I will have a I'm trying to go for a blend of the tones so a blend of the pink and a blend of the grey and a, so on that I'm going for in there so I'm going to get started now see you in a bit it's a miracle I sewed the smaller bit and put the ribbon on the bottom like that so that's the front of it I didn't swear once as you can see where there's or where it had got frayed before when it was in the window I'm just going to trim those areas off obviously it looks a bit peculiar now because it's not hanging properly um, when I've got the crystals or I'll probably only do one or two crystals on the bottom of this one and maybe four or five on the longer one which is about four times the width of this one so when the crystals are on that can go in place I'm actually going to put the short one and the long one on the rod at the same time just so that you can get an idea of what it looks like before it goes in the window as I said I didn't want to show you the finished thing up at the window until the reveal of the whole room yeah but I'm quite pleased not just pleased that it worked, but pleased that I didn't swear. I don't think the other one is going to be quite as easy. What I'll try and do is when I'm doing the next one, I'll show you how I join the first bit to the second bit to the third bit. It's not easy, but I'll show you how I do that. Okay, so I've done a small bit. So it's looped at the top joined at the bottom with a ribbon and it's got two crystals sewn on there and then that gets pushed to the end and then I shall make the bigger one obviously to go on this end but that is a job and a half so I may or may not show that but that's the general idea hopefully now when the wind blows not only will they not all get tangled up but my neighbours won't see my all together can you see me in my all together Aha, it works then doesn't it I'm laying all the ribbons out for the next the part of the window that is fixed and doesn't open and I'm pinning all of them at exactly the same level so the loop is the same size to go through the pole and I shall join them with the stitching like that and laying them all out so that in theory the length is all the same roughly so that when I put the grey ribbon along the bottom it'll work that's obviously not right so I'm going to have to rejig that one um, and I've got several others cut out and more to add if I want to so I'm just going to play it by ear I don't want to put too many pink ones together to, or too many grey ones together or indeed the same pattern next to the same pattern 
but it's going to be pretty random it's not going to be it's not in any particular order it's just as they come but I'm laying them out on the table and in a pile so that as I pick them up I just pick the next one up and stitch it on so that I know what order they're going in otherwise I don't think I could get the, a decent effect as I'm going along I need to be able to lay them out first so these are all supposed to be slightly on top of each other just so that I know which is the next one in the order as I pick them up to sew them and then the next bit will be to actually show you them being sewn so I've laid all the ribbons out in the order that I want them to go and be stitched together and I've pinned um, at the same point so that I can make the loop so now I'm going to try and show you how I'm going to <laughs> sew them together and I shall try not to swear I'm going to take them from this end first because I've pinned that way round and I shall start stitching there just where the needle is first go across this way well it helps if you have the machine on go across this one I'm not going to do it very fast because let's just do a backward stitch keep the stitches secure this is where it gets difficult so I take the next one and I have to put it exactly where the pin is and where the stitches are in fact that's slightly further down not that that mat should matter too much because it just will mean the loop is bigger I'm just making sure the length is the same Of course there's going to be ribbon on the bottom of this as well and then I have to hold them together start the sewing machine and pray okay that's the second one done third one Oh yes, I noticed that on this piece of ribbon there was a fault on it and the um, spots are missing. So it's a double layer piece of ribbon anyway. So the unspotty side is at the back. I know some people put their uh, neck curtains and so on round, if you like, the right way for the outside world to see. Well, blow that. Don't care what the outside world sees. It's what I see that matters. And I want it to look nice from the inside. So. I guess I'm just one of those people who doesn't give a stuff what other people think. As you can see, I butt it up to the side, hold it all in place, stitch and pray. So I shall continue on. The um, top is now joined together. So I've got to lay it out flat on the table and gradually, once I've laid it out flat, <laughs> which is easier said than done, 
I will then, with the bottom pieces, put the grey bit of ribbon along the bottom, join up all the ends so that they are like the other piece of netting where there is a solid bottom to it. So that's the next job. I'm a little bit annoyed because I've been laying them all out and pinning them with this ribbon at the bottom and I've noticed in fact right back here I noticed that we started to have a flaw within the ribbon I don't know if you can see the slight pinky lines there and as we go through it gets worse now, I don't know whether when I watch this film back there's a big what looks like a crease there, but in fact it's not a crease. It's a big grey black line, obviously with the dyes not gone through properly. And then the pink. So when I watch this through, I'm going to see if you can actually see it and, if how, and how bad it is. Fortunately, because it's pinky colours, I'm not too worried just as well I'm doing a project for myself and not for somebody else because I would have been very cross because obviously it's right in the middle of the roll uh, it seems to get a bit better as we go along oh no there's another bit of pinky there and just as well I'm using it for this project instead of the project that I was originally going to use it for which would have really mattered and really shown I was even turning the ribbon over and thinking what is it on both sides and yes it is blooming annoying and I've got two more rolls as well so of course I don't know if the other rolls are going to be like it and how much further this for this this floor is going to be in the ribbon doesn't seem as bad there but hmm anyway i shall continue cross 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 but there we are these things happen and there more or less apart from a few beads down here is the finished article and if it looks as if the if this side the opening window side if you like um is shorter than this side it is because for two reasons one because when I when I was originally doing it I thought I was going to run out of ribbon so I cut these a little bit shorter but also because because of the window frame this has just obviously got the window frame around the round the pane of glass that doesn't open just the window frame top and bottom this has the window frame and the opening window frame so it's it's wider so i thought i could get away with it and actually when it's up and because i've got the window open and this is always blowing like this it doesn't even show but i did it originally because i thought i was going to run out of ribbon i know i know me and my slapdash ideas anyway that's it i've got to put on a few um crystals along the bottom here I thought I would film this before I ran out of light. So thank you for joining me. And if you want to join me for other chats on Tuesday or makes on Friday, then just subscribe and you'll be notified when I release another video. So until I see you next time, take care.